let's see how to compile a kernel the Debian's way. First of all, download the source from kernel.org, copy the URL, and paste it to a terminal to download it with the wget command. Okay. Now copy the URL. The download will last a little bit according to your connection speed. So I'm going to, to forward the video to save time. Okay. It's almost ready. Now move the downloaded file to the USR SRC folder. Use the MB command to do so. MB the file to USR SRC folder. Okay. Due to USR SRC will be the working directory, go to the path. When you be there, unzip the file with the tar command. Tar unzip the bc2 file, showing what you're doing with the with the file. Linux 2.6.32.2 tar bc2. The process also will last a little bit, so I'm going to forward the video one more time. Okay. Now, delete the Linux symbolic link from previous compilation in order to make a new link to the just unzip directory Linux 2.6.32.2. Okay. Now, enter into that directory link cd Linux. From there, you are going to set up your kernel by using make menu config. Okay. Menu config is a program based on end courses that will let you choose different options from your kernel. Here you see the main menu. You can browse through the available options. For instance, you might be interested in compiling the v42 driver for Broadcom 43 I don't know 12 wireless cards like mine so go to network device supports and find and find the wireless LAN okay wireless LAN okay okay wireless LAN choose the second option and find the B43 module. Okay. 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 Choose the current module, not the legacy. You can include it into the kernel. Okay. Make it a module. Or even don't include it at all. In my case, I chose to compile it as a module. When you finish, select Exit until you reach the main menu. If you select Exit one more time when you when you are in the in the main menu, you will be asked to write your kernel setting into the config file. Say yes. Now you're ready to compile the kernel. Use Debian's tool make kpkg. Uh, make kernel package. The first option is the package revision number, in this case LMV1. The next option tell it to compile an init image to help out the kernel to boot. Next option tell it to compile the kernel and init image into a dev file. And the last option build a dev file with kernel headers. The compiler can last quite a few depending on your hardware, for instance, run a CPU. I'm going to forward the video again. If there were any errors, you will end up with two dev files in the USR SRC folder. 
Now to install your new kernel, just install the dev file using dpkg. dpkg. And I I above current directory dot dot above current directory and the package. Okay, it's a dev file. It will install the kernel and init images for you, running all the needed scripts including the update group command, which edit the group config file to add your kernel on the boot manager list. Okay, now check out if your kernel was installed as a package. Use aptitude search Linux image to do so. And on the following list, you, your, your compiled kernel must appear. Okay.